These three fonts I'm gonna be dropping in this video have generated me hundreds of thousands of views for all of my Instagram Reels. These fonts are the reason why my Instagram Reels look super clean, aesthetic, and super easy to edit. And make sure to stick all the way to the end because I'm gonna show you guys how you can properly use these in Adobe Premiere Pro so you can be making Instagram Reels just like these on screen in a matter of a few seconds just by the implementations I'm going to be giving. But really quick, my name is Torsten Roscoe. I create short form video editing assets for content creators just like you, so you guys are not stuck at your day editing Instagram Reels. I'll leave those down in the first link in the description so you don't miss out, and without further ado, let's go over these fonts. So I like to run with three main fonts, and the reason why I pick three, <laughs> Three, or if you guys go like this, three. The reason why I pick three is because one, you need to have a great base. So you wanna have a good base that has, just makes all the captions and everything just bold, stand out super well. And that's why I go on to this first main font that's going to lay out the base for all of our other fonts. So this is the font, it's called Inner. I found it on Google Fonts. I'm pretty sure it's on anywhere else, but just search up on Google Fonts. This font is absolutely great for your captions, and I absolutely love this font. I use it all the time. Obviously, later in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how do I use this font. I do a little bit of my adjustments so it looks a lot better, but right now, right out of the gate, this font is just absolutely crushing it. It's so clean, so aesthetic, and it's just gonna bring up all your captions, and people are really gonna just watch your videos just because of captions. I mean, I do that with Tom Nas, so. <laughs> My next font that is super important that ties into this font is you need your next font to be super kind of abstract and also bold. You'll see in all of these fonts, they're all just nice and bold and they tie in well together. Now, the next font I love to use to make my words stand out and just look super clean is I like to go a little classy. So I like to have a bold font and then I like to go with a nice kind of, like I said, classy cursive kind of font. And this font is called Ashton Script. It's on defont.com. This font, all of these fonts are absolutely free for you guys. And this font's gonna tie really, really well with this other font, but you need to know how to use this and that's exactly what I'm gonna be showing you at the end of this video. <laughs> but this font just ties it super well together, like I said, and it's gonna make every word that you guys wanna highlight pop a lot better if you know what you're doing. Now, this third font is a banger also, and this ties really, really well with this one. Now, if you guys don't wanna use like a super cursive one, I also have an alternative one. It's called this Apple Garamod. It's pretty much a kind of like a cursive one, but it looks super good when you use this bold italic. That's what I love to use. I'll show you in a little bit how I like to use it. But these three fonts, I just like to have at my disposal at all times, just so then you have a good one for captions. So your inner font's gonna be your captions. And then these two fonts are gonna be highlighting words and really making certain words just stand out and animate a look a lot better. Your main keywords, my plan almost fell. <laughs> now here is a quick example of how I use them in a simple few seconds on my, and ridiculously easy to create that's really loud. <laughs> but you can see here, I'm using each and every single one of them, so I'll look at it one more time with you guys just to really show you. I just, boom, you can see that this is the inner font up here. It's really laying down a super good foundation for my hook. And then this just really pops out it. Obviously, I'll show you guys how to get all these effects really simple and quick. But right now, here's that Ashton caption. It's just, I love the way that it just highlights all these words and makes everything just look super good. So now let's do this all from scratch so I can show you guys exactly how I do it in real time, super duper quickly, and how I like to use these fonts to master this art of typography. That's what I like to call it. So first of all, obviously we need to create our captions. Let's come into captions, hit create ca captions from transcript, and then I want you to click this arrow down, drop all these to the left, hit single, and then hit create captions. Now, I'm gonna delete these over here because I already have these captions, but these are the ones that we're looking at. You can see it's right here. What I'm gonna do is highlight these and we're gonna go into properties. Now, here is the most important part. We want to hit this zone, 
So then we have it right under my chin. You don't wanna go too far up. You don't wanna go too far low like this. You wanna have it where when you're talking to someone, obviously you want the captions to be right there so you can obviously understand what I'm saying. So let's come into text. You guys can search up inner. I have mine just favorited. If you guys don't know how to favorite it, just search up inner, find it, and then hit the star. It's gonna pop up. And now I'm gonna use the black. I'm gonna get rid of the shadow. I'm going to just resize this. And now we can just play this really quick. The FX pack makes it ridiculously easy to create. Now that looks really clean. I absolutely love that. Now, the one thing I love to do to make this font look a lot better is I actually mess with this VA. Now, when I do negative 50, it's just gonna pull these captions a little closer and you don't have, I mean, you can go more, you can go even like that. That just looks too much or you can make them like that, but that just looks bad. I like to have them right around negative 50. It makes this font just look so, so much better just by doing that little adjustment and making them all a little closer. This font's super clean and that's why I love using it for my captions. So now we need to spice this up and make this really just stand out. And here's how we are going to do that. You wanna first make sure that these are all upgraded to graphics. So just come up to graphics like I just did, hit upgrade to caption to graphic and then just come up here. I'm gonna drag these down just so we can see it. And now boom, we have these. And this is how you're gonna animate the captions. Now I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna show you what I did. So for these captions right here, I used my Mogart that I have in my captions FX pack, which this pack gives you all these fonts in a list, also with 15 plus high quality fonts. That way you guys have more variety. If you guys don't like these, you can always pair them with these other ones. And you get all of these exclusive Mogarts, plus the presets that we're going to be using. And let me show you guys really quick just how I love to use them each and every single day. They save me so, so much time. So to make that this really shiny, really just sexy looking animation that just comes in just like this, I'm going to delete it because we obviously don't need it. We're just creating it from scratch. I'm gonna grab the exact one. So this is the fast whip shine effect animation. There's obviously more over here. You can see there's a blur fade in. I'll show you guys those in a second, but actually here's what a blur fade in looks like. It's just this cool like blur that goes from left and right. There's a flicker that you guys see, actually I think it's right here. This flicker looks pretty dope, but we're just gonna be using this fast whip animation. And all you have to do is just drag and drop it. Boom, done. I'm just going to resize it just like so. I'm actually gonna pull it right here. And now we can just like, it just, it just pops right in just like that. We can fully customize this, so let's just, captions f x just like so boom that is done i'm going to just quickly resize this by just turning down the font size and i like to mess with the font size and also the scale all depends on what you guys want to do but i like to just mess around with both because sometimes i don't know why premiere pro doesn't like me <laughs> but we can mess with the color so i'm just going to make that exact same color so I'm just gonna come into this one, come over here and copy and paste it super duper quickly, just like so. Now we have this super clean, oh, that's looking sexy already. Now, here is where those really cool fonts play in. Now, you can use either the Apple Gearman. This looks pretty cool. So this is just highlighting the word. That's actually the exact one we used. Or you can make it even fancier and go with the Ashton, Ashton script bold and it'll look like this. Now for the Ashton script bold, it really, really, really loves going crazy on capitalization. Like you can see up here, the C is capitalized. So it has this like crazy, same with these FX. So if I just turn down these S and just make it regular, just like that, now it just looks regular. But already right now, this looks just super crazy clean just by using these effects. And these fonts just make this word pop so much. And that's what we're really trying to do when we're creating these type of Instagram reels is just making people focus on the certain keywords that you want to be highlighted. And that's why I love using this Ashton Bold or the Apple Gear Mod, which I'm actually just gonna be using right now. So let me just quickly fix this to a capitalization and then we can reposition this just like so. And we can come down here to the glow. We can make the glow even more, like more intense if we want to. That's a little, that's a looking a little too intense for me. We can mess with the glow radius. So if I don't want it as like, 
you know, I want it more condensed, I can do that, or I can just make it like that. You can mess with everything, like the shine, you can mess with this left shine, you can make it bigger, just like so, so now it's a lot bigger. You can make it smaller, not even like be existent. You can mess with everything, dude. The color, the shine intensity, you can also do it to the other one. There's so many infinite possibilities. I, that's why I absolutely love these exclusive Mogarts and they're so easy to use. And then another thing I like to do just to spice this up a little further and go the extra mile to make this better is I like to add actually a drop shadow to this preset just because for some reason, you see how it looks like now. It's just like super kind of bold. The, the glow looks absolutely amazing, but when you just add a drop shadow, it kind of tones it down and makes it all more, I don't know, it just, it feels a little, and looks a little better. So this is what it looks like now. Like that just, that's so clean. And then we can make, we can animate this pack. So right now it doesn't, it just pops just like that. We can come into the caption FX pack presets, the one you guys got actually get in that pack. And then we can just look like, let's just make it like appear down. And then it'll look like this. It just comes in and peers down. And then in, you just duplicate that due to all your other ones. And then this is exactly what you get. Caption FX pack and boom. makes it ridiculous. Like, all these animations you see here are in this caption FX Instagram pack. That's why I love this pack, Pro. It's so easy to use, man. Like what? It looks so clean too. If you guys stick throughout this entire video, I do appreciate it. And I'm gonna actually gonna be hooking you up with a special discount. If you guys use the code SPECIAL, it'll save you $5 off your order. And if you guys wanna learn exactly how I actually edited this reel on screen right now, in a matter of a few simple clicks using all my editing systems, go check out this video right over here. It has a full breakdown on how I did it with you guys each and every single step. I'm pretty much, I mean, we're holding hands going through it together. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!